checking out of the motel. Spent the last two days here. Uh, it's been cold, but it hasn't been as cold as cold can get. But I just, um, you know, when I have more than one day off, I can't handle it being out there on the street. I mean, I need somewhere to go. I need, uh, you know, something to do. I just can't, you know, just go between the gym and the food, restaurants and such. And, you know, so uh, what I'll do usually is check into a motel if I don't have uh, anywhere else to go. And... Um, my uh, friends, which I've stayed with here and there, they're all battling COVID right now. And interestingly enough, uh, one of their uh, children had a baby recently and they, were, they weren't necessarily as concerned as the mother of the child was that I was unvaccinated. And therefore, uh, you know, the mother of the child felt that I needed to either get the jab or not stay there. So they let me know that. And uh, they were very upset about it, but they let me know that. And so I stayed, uh, obviously, away. And, uh, well, they all came down with it. And, of course, I didn't. Um, they all have been vaccinated. Um, I believe one of the older children just got uh, the booster. And uh, that was the first person that, that went and got ill. So I don't know if I'm, you know, staying healthy because I'm out in the cold. I did see... Uh, something on a Sunday morning show about a classroom of children who were outside for their schoolwork in the winter and the snow. Not one case of COVID between the teachers, staff, and children. And the uh, class that was indoor, they had 28 cases between the staff, teachers, and children. So that could be what's keeping me safe. I mean, I'm in gyms, uh, very, you know, <laughs> heavily populated gym and uh, restaurants, you know, uh, stop and get gas, stop and, you know, do this and that. And also not to mention my job is at a very public store and I haven't gotten it. So I don't know if it's cold or what. I do have a suspicion that you actually are, are gonna get it if you get the vaccines. I mean, I do, but a lot of people that get the vaccines also isolate themselves in their homes. But uh, I just don't trust the government at this point. I don't trust the uh, jab at all. And um, I'm glad that I was actually not at that home because I, I probably would have been blamed for the outbreak. And, uh, you know, because I had not gone near anyone, um, you know, obviously the person who got ill first um, is somebody that they love very much and aren't going to be upset at. So anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. But it's been great. This whole experience has been wonderful. The winter's been beating the crap out of me, though. And uh, I do need more indoor time. And um, certainly, uh, I'm going to take care of myself. I'm not out to prove anything. You know, I'm not broke. Obviously, I'm doing this to save money. So I can pretty much do what I want to do. Um, but like I said, I don't know how anyone can do this um, if they're not working. I certainly would never want to be homeless without somewhere to go and some sort of an income so I could enjoy my life. So anyhow, guys, that's all I got to say. Um, I'd go on camera, but, you know, lately uh, my uh, bags under my eyes, some days they actually look like I have black eyes. So... <laughs> I am just not interested in showing myself at this time, uh, but it's going to warm up and um, everyone, I hope you're doing well and I'll talk to you soon.